Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Essex Junction. My name is Elaine Haney. This is Marcus Serta. We're city councilors, and we're really happy to see you this morning on this gorgeous Memorial Day morning. This is the 36th annual Essex Memorial Day Parade and Free Parade program. We're so happy to be here. Uh, to start things off, we want to welcome Reverend Mark Mendez from the First Congressional Church of Essex Junction, who's going to be offering the prayer of invocation. Good morning. Let us pray. As we come and pray, let us recognize that we all pray in different ways. Some of us go to church and pray with others. Some of us talk to the mysterious presence of the divine while hiking to the top of a mountain. Some of us find divinity while helping to feed, care, or love others less fortunate or in need. Some of us pray the rosary or meditate on our mantras or recite the Shema Azrael or the Selah daily prayers. Some of us connect to the living God dancing around a fire on a dark, dark solstice night. Some of us find God fighting for racial equality and gender freedom and equal rights and environmental justice and economic fairness for all people in this country. Some of us find God in the purity of thought found in truth and science and mathematics or the wisdom of the ages. In our deepest longing to connect, we all seek out forces and powers greater than ourselves to draw from for strength, discernment, and direction. As we acknowledge our different gods and philosophies of living, we also recognize that there are many differences among us. We have vastly different political persuasions. We are men and women, young and old, with a variety in the hue of our skin, the color of our hair, and the shape of our bodies. We are gay and straight, lesbian and gay and bisexual, transgendered, poly polyamorous, and gender fluid. We are still questioning and figuring out who we are. We are rich and poor, professionals, day laborers, and trade folks retired and getting educated. We drive trucks, care for the sick people, our first responders, or teach our community's children. Today, we come as a crazy mixture of people, united as residents of Essex Junction and Essex Town, to raise our gratitude to our various gods for the devotion and sacrifice of our armed forces who gave their lives so that we might worship and live the way we want to. Today, we will hoop and holler and collect candy at the parade. We will listen to marching bands and fire trucks, and we will celebrate the freedom bought for us with generations of soldiers who know what sacrifice and dedication are all about. Today, we will cherish our families, picnic, picnic in our backyards, and explore the wonders and beauty of Vermont. We all claim this Memorial Day holiday in different ways, but as we do so, let us recognize for a moment that we are free to worship the way we want because of the sacrifice of those who serve. Let us recognize for a moment that we are free to express ourselves in different ways because of those who lost their lives for our country. Let us recognize for a moment that we are free to work and play and love whomever we want because of folks who fought to defend the values and principles of this fair land. So hoop and holler, dance and drink, play and picnic, eat and explore. But sometime during your festivities, remember and reflect and honor the fallen heroes and current military service folk who make all of this possible. And today we especially lift up our own men and women who serve with distinction and pride, courage and sacrifice. Women and men from the 86th Brigade of the Vermont Army National Guard and the 158th Fighter Wing of the Vermont Air National Guard, and for all from these green hills who serve to make this corner of God's world more peaceful and true. We pray all of this and more on this fine spring Vermont Memorial Day morning. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Reverend Mendez. And now the placing of the wreaths by Essex Junction Lions Club member Dennis Hill and VFW Post 6689 Commander Roger Brassard.
Stress so gallantly streaming, and the rockets red glare, the bombs bursting in air, deep through through the night, that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled old banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the host of the brave. Thank you, Gary Morrow. At this time, we would like to recognize and honor our two parade grand marshals. They were nominated by members of the community and have a long history of serving both our country and the community. First, we would like to recognize Ron Creedy. Ron, would you please come forward? After graduating from Essex High School in 1960, Ron Creedy enlisted in the U.S. Army. He spent his three years of service in training, standing ready to answer the nation's call if needed. Ron spent time in Fort Dix, New Jersey, Kentucky, and ultimately completed his service in Alaska. Ron was assigned to armored tanks. He was trained as both a driver and a gunner. Ron was in the platoon leader's tank and thus in the leader's absence assumed command. Ron's connection to the Essex community is extensive. He attended the first grade at Park Street School, Vermont's first brick schoolhouse, and was a ninth grader when Fleming was the high school, and spent his other three years in high school at ADL when that was Essex High School. While in high school, Ron was voted most friendly, a reputation he continues to live up to today. Just stop by Murray's Tavern on any given <laughs> afternoon, and you'll see for yourself. After Ron's military service, he eventually became a welder at GE, where he worked for 25 years making parts for guns. He has been married for 52 years to Diana, is father of Sean and Nikki, and grandfather to six grandchildren. He has lived in the same house in the city of Essex Junction for the last 52 years. Over time, Ron has been involved with Essex Youth Hockey and VFW Post 6689. When Ron's kids were in high school, he was renowned for his homecoming float building abilities, and Ron has also been a passionate pickleballer. Ron's time in service was three years, but his love of the armed forces and our country has been evident for the subsequent 60. Ron is proud of our country, proud that he served our country, and proud of others who serve. Ron is the first person to thank a member of the armed services in uniform. He wears his US Army veteran hat daily, Ron is humbled and honored to be recognized as one of this year's Essex Memorial Day Parade Grand Marshals. Would you please rise and join me in celebrating our first Grand Marshal for the 2023 Essex Memorial Day Parade, U.S. Army E-5 Sergeant Ron Preview. Ron's son, Sean Preview, has a few words about his dad. I'm just going to say uh, very briefly a few words uh, on my father's behalf. Um, and first, I know he would, he would like to say thank you to all veterans and current service members. And to remember that without our soldiers of the past, we would not be where we are today. Uh, I, I need to thank my sister, Nikki. She's the one who started the idea of nominating our father for Grand Marshal. And it's an idea that turned into, he got it. <laughs> Next, I'd like to say thank you to the committee for, for selecting our father because I know what this means to him. Words cannot express his gratitude or how honored and proud he is to be recognized in this way. You'll see it in his face. And finally, I'd like to take this unique opportunity to just say, Thank you, Dad, for everything. 
and to tell you how proud I am of you. Congratulations on a day well deserved. We are presenting Ron with an encased American flag. Next, we'd like to honor our second Grand Marshal, Peter Ferkey. Peter, please come forward. One year after graduating from Essex High School in 1981, Peter Ferkey enlisted in the U.S. Army. During high school, he was one of the original members of the Junior ROTC program. Peter would continue his participation in ROTC during college at UVM, yet he was a student at St. Mike's. He graduated with a business degree and in 1986 became a member of the Army National Guard. In 1992, Peter became active duty and full time with the Guard for the next 23 years. He earned a Master's of Strategic Studies from the U.S. Army War College in 2011. He retired in 2015 as Colonel. During his time of service, Peter served overseas in Italy Afghanistan, Macedonia, and Senegal. He spent 21 years in field artillery, was an Afghan army advisor, and spent his final five years of active duty. Train celebrating with us. He spent his five years of active duty, his final five years of active duty as Deputy Chief of Staff for Personnel. He earned multiple awards, including the Legion of Merit, Bronze Star for Service in Afghanistan, and Humanitarian Service Medal as commander of the Vermont Army and, Nash and Air National Guard after Hurricane Katrina. Since 2018, Peter has served as a, civ as a civilian for the Vermont National Guard as the Deputy Director of HR. Peter grew up in Essex and has lived multiple times in both the city and town. He has been married to his wife, Laura, for 34 years, who is also in the junior ROTC program while in high school. They have two daughters, Emily and Eva. Peter spent many years volunteering with the Essex High School Junior ROTC program. He and his family enjoy camping and hiking, and they have been active members of the First Congressional Church of Essex Junction. Peter has been formally associated with the armed forces in some capacity for the last 41 years. He has proudly served our country at home and abroad, and he, desert, he is a deserved honoree as one of this year's Essex Memorial Day Parade Grand Marshals. Please rise and join me in celebrating our second Grand Marshal for the 2023 Essex Memorial Day Parade, U.S. Army Colonel Peter Ferkey. We've presented Peter with an encased American flag. Would you please welcome Nina DeLuna? Nina DeLuna, she's a seventh grader at ADL, who is going to be reading her Memorial Day essay. Thank you. Okay. Today, we are here to honor not only those who have served, but soldiers who are willing to defend this country with their lives. Memorial Day usually is an extra day of the weekend, so people have barbecues and go to the beach. But the true meaning of this day is rooted deep into America's history. Today, we remember the soldiers who died fighting for us in every known war. World War I, World War II, the Civil War, and so many more. We honor these men and women who fought for this country. The family and all of these fallen soldiers, of all these fallen soldiers, mourn the loss of a loved one, their fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, sons and daughters. All of these soldiers fought for their lives. So today, we must remember the, the lives that were lost in the battlefields of war. That is what Memorial Day truly is, to remember those who fell fighting for this country.
Next, I would like to welcome Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Wignall, commander of the U.S. Army Mountain Warf Warfare School. Great, thank you. Great ceremony. Thank you for having me. That's a tough act to follow. Good job, Nina. That was, that was wonderful. Uh, but a powerful day, and thank you to everybody that put this together. A happy Memorial Day. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Matt Wignall, and yes, I'm a soldier. Uh, I'm also a husband. I'm a son. Uh, I'm a high school coach. I'm a father, and I'm a community member here in Essex. And I tell you this so that as we pause today to honor the service members that we've lost in battle, uh, that we're also reminded of those that they left behind. Happy Memorial Day. There's an unsettling feeling that we have when we say those words, uh, maybe as if we're doing it wrong. As if the act of celebration is in some way disingenuous, I assure you it's not. As I look across the crowd, I see strong, determined, optimistic, free people that gathered because they cherished the lives of our fallen service members. Individuals who, just like you, look to the future and envisioned a better world that's worth celebrating. For over 150 years, we celebrate this day remembering those who died for our freedom. They fell in the jungles of the South Pacific, on the bloody beaches of Normandy, on the icy slopes of the Korean Peninsula, the rice paddies of Vietnam, in the mountains and caves of Afghanistan, and on the sands and the streets of Iraq. These brave men and women left behind the safety of our sovereign soil to defeat tyrants to ensure justice and fulfill the promise of safety and security that our citizens and the global community so badly need. Their lives were dedicated not to conflict or death, but to compassion and to life and to hope and to freedom. Whether it was a war of necessity to protect our people and our land or a war of choice to establish order around the world, these are men and women that never questioned the purpose of war. For to them, the purpose was simply to serve the greater good. And if need be, lay down their lives for the preservation of our freedom and to protect the brothers and sisters that serve to their side. Expressing ourselves in a reverent and meaningful way can be challenging and even confusing on a day like this. Oftentimes, we seem compelled to express our grief by connecting vicariously through our veterans and service members while being cautious not to impede on what might, what might be intimate or personal emotions. We visit monuments, we plant flags in cemeteries, we challenge ourselves in a Memorial Day CrossFit workout, or run a road race, perhaps even a marathon. We organize and we attend a parade, or perhaps we remain silent with our feelings in our heart. I submit to you that what matters most is our continued collective effort to remain conscious of the price of freedom, and we do that today by gathering to celebrate those who paid the ultimate price for just that, our freedom. And again, let's be mindful of the millions of families left behind, wives, husbands, sons and daughters, mothers and fathers, who are left with the burden of living in the absence of those that they love most. For them, a day of remembrance is not an option, it's a way of life. They bear the greatest burden of us all, we can never thank them in a way that makes up for their loss. And on behalf of those present here today, please allow me to express my sincere appreciation and condolence. We're humbled by your resilience and grateful for your continued support to our military. It is in your honor that we gather here today to celebrate the things that your loved ones cherished most, their freedom, their families, their community, and in that celebration, we parade the streets, witnessing that very freedom. So as the baseball teams and the dance teams and the Boy Scouts pass us by today, let's smile and let's show reverent celebration for our freedom and all that has been provided through their sacrifice, the sacrifice of the brave men and women who died to preserve it. Happy Memorial Day. God bless America. And now Gary Moreau will sing God Bless America. Please join in. 
God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. From the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. From the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home. Thank you. All right, now the parade has already kicked off from the fairgrounds. It is uh, going to be coming over that little hump down the road, heading this way. So looking forward to seeing all of the parade as it passes us by. But Elaine, I do want to say before we get too far along, it's great to see you again. I'm so glad that we got to do this again. Last year was a little colder, a little bit uh, rainier, but this year, beautiful. I, you, we couldn't ask for a better day, Marcus. It is so nice to be here and not be anticipating rain and then being dumped on. It's going to be a great parade. There's so many people here today. So everybody take your seats. Make sure you have a good spot on the curb. We're going to be kicking off and seeing those floats come down the street any minute. But while we're starting, let's give a few pieces of information yeah. about our parade. Marcus said earlier this is the 36th annual Essex Memorial Day Parade. And we're one of the biggest parades in the state of Vermont. The best parade. That definitely the best yeah, parade. Yeah, absolutely. And the theme of our parade is all gave some, some gave all. Now today's parade is going to feature over 70 participants, 13 different divisions, including fire trucks, marching bands, scouting units, dance troops, mascots, tractors, cycle units. Oh, there's a lot. And it's all coming our way. And if you brought a non-perishable food donation to the parade, first of all, thank you. Look for the collectors from Matt Lumsden Real Estate. They're sponsoring a stuff-a-truck food drive to benefit Aunt Dot's food shelf. Marcus brought his bag of groceries already, so thank you, Marcus, for doing that, and thank you, everybody, who supports the food services in our community. The truck will be coming through in the Essex Rotary Division, and some Rotarians will be assisting with the pickups. Now, I want to give some special thanks to some special people who make this all happen. Today, you're going to see people from all departments of the city and the town helping to participate. So I want to give some special attention to the city of Essex Junction and town of Essex as we both come together to support this parade today. As we have for so many years. It's yep. a great tradition of working together. Now, I want to give some special thanks to the road crews. You can see some of them right here at Five Corners. Hey, fellas. Hey, road crew. Thank you. The public works crew is setting up at five corners. They've hung American flags around town. So guess what? Thanks to them for helping make this celebration just even more special. And special thanks also to the Essex Police Department and the Essex Junction Fire Department for coordinating traffic and keeping our streets safe. And you'll see them all throughout the crowd. Thank you, Essex Fire, Essex Police. There's Chief There's Hogue, Hogue right there. Right there. Thank Thanks, you, Chief. Chief, your whole team. Um, listen, we're gonna see all kinds of great people coming through this parade today. This parade is being supported by individuals, by businesses, and the town of Essex comes together with Essex Junction to financially make this parade possible. And the Lions and the VFW were responsible for building this beautiful Veterans Memorial Park right here at Five Corners, where we have all of our ceremonies 
on Veterans Day, Memorial Day, a beautiful memorial from them. After the parade today at noon, guess what? Chicken barbecue. That's right, chicken barbecue at the VFW Post 6689 at 73 Pearl Street, right down the road there. It's gonna be delicious. Stop on by and grab some great food right after the parade. Another tradition. I know. And don't forget, the Brownell Library annual Memorial Day book sale is open and ready for business. There are so many books there, so please, over the course of the morning, head on over and do some shopping. There's children's books, there's adult books, there's gardening, there's fiction, you name it. It's gonna be there all during the parade, and there's also books for sale in the book sale room in the basement of the Brownell Library. So be sure to take your family over there before you leave for the day. And also right around this area especially, I mean, come on, there's so many great places to grab a snack if you want one. I just grabbed breakfast at Firebird this morning. It was awesome. <laughs> And a sandwich from Martone's for lunch is the mm. perfect thing to have on Memorial Day. Get a sandwich of Martone's, it'll last you three days. Could those <laughs> things be any bigger? They're little Dagwood sandwiches, <laughs> absolutely. Well, I'm looking forward, Marcus, to seeing all of the high school bands and middle school bands we're going to be seeing today. And we're going to be seeing some Girl Scouts and some Boy Scouts. Who yeah. are you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to collecting candy, actually. My <laughs> dentist isn't appreciating it, but I'm looking forward to it. Look, I, I look forward to everybody coming out and really celebrating a day like today. I, I, I was in the Air Force. I was in the 30th uh, Civil Engineering Squadron at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Well, thank you for your service. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, but, you know, the thing about it is, is that what I learned from that experience was community. And then I came to this place, Essex and Essex Junction, and learned even more about community. And on a day like today, to see all these people lined up all the way down the road there, all the way down Pearl Street, this is an amazing sight to see as we celebrate the lives of those people who gave it all uh, in order to keep us safe and, of course, uh, always to allow us to come together in the spirit of community. Still waiting on the parade? <laughs> Still coming? Can we get a check-in? Check-in here. We got. We have uh, a great group, a great team of uh, radio operators that are keeping us informed about how the parade is going, where it's going. Hopefully down this street. <laughs> The parade is assembling in the field behind the Champlain Valley Exposition, which is where they hang out every year. They set up, they line up, and they proceed in an orderly fashion out of the fairground gates and down Route 2A, Lincoln Street, right here to Five Corners. So we're waiting on them to get assembled. So it's still okay for you to be crossing the street and looking for that perfect spot, but pretty soon you're gonna have to settle in and watch this wonderful parade. You know, Marcus, I, I usually treat Memorial Day weekend as a really quiet, just kind of fun weekend. I kick it off with the parade every year because it's my favorite thing of the year. And then it's just like sunshine, gardening, barbecue. What do you do on Memorial Day weekend? I do all the same things except gardening. <laughs> Just not much of a weeder. Uh, but this is, this is going to be everybody's nightmare right now. They've given me time and a microphone. Uh, look, I, I love Memorial Day weekend because it just, whether I'm in this community, and I always come to this parade, but then I go to the other communities who are also doing parades this weekend and just watching all these communities come together. It's just, it's an amazing sight to see, and again, honor so many great people. That's right. Um, but again, as, as Elaine said, this is still a great opportunity to find a great spot. As a matter of fact, I see an open spot right next to this lamppost here. I mean. There's definitely time to squeeze some folks in. There's folks still coming down Main Street coming to find a seat. You know, Marcus, when I was a kid, we, you know, I, I was born in New Jersey, and I came to, New, to Vermont a long time ago, and it was the best decision I ever made. And my dad, we didn't have a lot of parades like this in my community in New Jersey, but my dad was a World War II vet, my brother was a Vietnam vet, 
And my, my dad was also a police officer for many years. And you know, this is also a day to remember those who have served us in our community protection, our yeah. fire departments, our police departments, our rescue workers. There's a whole team of volunteers in this community that keeps us safe every single day. And we are so grateful to them for their service. Thank you for bringing up your family service. It's wonderful to, to hear that. And, and so often I hear that in regards to the lineage of so many families. My father was a Vietnam War veteran. Uh, his father was uh, a World War II vet. So on and on, our families keep giving each and every generation in order to keep us being able to enjoy days like this and uh, come together in wonderful community. And by the way, there they are, some blue lights which indicates the beginning of the parade. It's coming up over the hill there. Here it comes. Down the street, so it's coming. All right. As they approach, get that clapping, that cheering loud so That's that they can right. know that you're here and welcoming them into the community. We're gonna be seeing some wonderful, uh, we're gonna see our parade marshals coming up first. We're gonna see a caisson. We're gonna remember our veterans and our, um, pa our passed on service members who have died in service to this country. And then we're going to get to the floats and the bands and all that fun stuff. Yeah. I do want to take a quick second, too, to also um, just remind people to keep in mind as you're thinking about those veterans who we've lost in service to our country that veterans still need their support after their time of service. And as I'm wearing this shirt today for the Josh Pilata Fund, I continually am reminded of the fact that veterans still come home, still have wounds seen and unseen, and unfortunately, some give a sacrifice not on the battlefield, but right here in our backyard. Too many veterans are lost every day. I hope that uh, you will keep your veterans in your mind and in your hearts, and you'll reach out to them to make sure that they're okay, because losing 22 every day is far too many. And their families as well. The yeah. sacrifice of families whose loved ones are off in other countries, fighting wars, coming home injured, coming or not coming home. It's a huge burden on families, mothers and fathers and children. And it's something we need to support amongst our community. We're all here together supporting each other. The first case on is making its way. It'll be here at the curve of five corners any moment. So make sure you take a seat. Hope everybody brought sunscreen today and some hats and umbrellas. Right. <laughs> I'm looking forward to when the, the parade is in full swing and we'll have all the folks on the sides of the roads with the bags of candy. And uh, <laughs> I understand Lieutenant Governor Zuckerman's here. Maybe he'll bring carrots today because he oh. did that last year. Yeah, that's he right. He all got carrots. That was awesome. <laughs> I think they made a great salad later that day for me. <laughs> this first division is sponsored by Essex Memorial Day Parade Committee and the VFW Post 6689. Thank you so much. You Hello, wave? Essex PD. We always start the parade off with a caisson being pulled by horses driven by staff of Mountain's Edge Farm. The caisson represents the fallen soldiers we are honoring today. Look at those beautiful horses. A solemn reminder of some give all, some, all give some, and some give all. And right here you see the Vermont Army National Guard. They're driving in one of their Humvees. Soldiers are First Lieutenant Benjamin Chris, 
First Lieutenant Joel Rice Bright and Sergeant Sobika Sinon. Sin Celebica Sanio. Thank you. And here is our first Grand Marshal, Ron Preeby. After graduating from Essex High School in 1960, Ron Preeby enlisted in the U.S. Army. He spent his three years of service in training, standing ready to answer the nation's call if needed. Ron was assigned to armored tanks and was trained as both a driver and a gunner. He has been married for 52 years to Diana, is father of Sean and Nikki, and grandfather of to six grandchildren. He's lived in the same house in Essex Junction for the last 52 years. He's proud of our country, proud he served, and proud of others who served. Congratulations, Ron. And our other Grand Marshal, Peter Ferkey. After graduating from Essex High School in 1981, Peter Ferkey enlisted in the U.S. Army. During high school, he was one of the original members of the Junior ROTC program. Peter was active duty and full-time with the Guard for 23 years, retiring as a Colonel in 2015. He served overseas in Italy, Afghanistan, Macedonia, and Senegal. He earned multiple awards, including the Legion of Merit, Bronze Star of Service in Afghanistan, and Humanitarian Service Medal. Peter has been married to his wife, Laura, for 34 years, has two daughters, Emily and Eva. He has been associated with the armed forces in some capacity for the last 41 years. Congratulations to Peter. Congratulations to both our Grand Marshals. Thank you for your service and thank you for participating in our parade this year and honoring us as being Marshals. And thanks, and you saw that banner at the, uh, at the tail end of that particular division. The city of Essex Junction, the town of Essex come together to make this parade possible in so many ways, including financial support and efforts by our public works, police and fire. We thank them all for making this possible today. Coming down the way is our next division. Just gonna kick off with a marching band, which is gonna be great. I hear music. I hear drumming. We're gonna see a lot of marching bands today, but we're gonna start off with the hometown band, which is great. This division is going to be sponsored by the Caitlin Raymond State Farm Insurance and Sun Ray Fire and Security. Thank you to our banner bear bearers, Essex High School cheerleaders, and sports teams members. And thank you to our wonderful uh, committee of volunteers, the, the wonderful Heidi Clark here keeping us organized as we go through the parade. Sometimes we have last minute additions, which is always kind of fun. New folks joining the parade. <laughs> Each division has a sponsor. This one, Caitlin Raymond State Farm Insurance and Sunray Fire and Security. We thank them for their support of today's Memorial Day Parade. Looks like also Vermont Central Vacuum right there on the banner too. Thank you so much. The parade is put together, like we've said before, by volunteers, but also local businesses. And we can't really pull it off without their support and without your supporting them. So thank you for that. Okay, who's going to name the song first? <laughs> name that tune in yeah, I, yeah. four beats. <laughs> The Essex Westford School District Marching Band is slowly approaching. Now I got a quick question. For, the, for people who are in band, I love the tuba, but I can't imagine walking this whole thing with a, carrying a tuba. <laughs> I think it requires a lot of strength and endurance to be in the band. All the marching, holding your instrument up the whole time. Maybe it's and just playing. Maybe it's just me and you know, if I was younger, I might feel different. I, don't know, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time, so walking and playing an instrument at the same time is beyond me. These kids are amazing. Let's listen to the Essex Westward School District marching band. Give them a round of applause.
Remember to come see the band throughout the year. They've got performances happening all year long, and today they're obviously saluting our country's service, men and women. Today's band is made up with students from both Essex High School and A.D. Lawton Middle School. School District Marching Band. Approaching now is VFW Post 6689, the Poppy Princess, and VFW Post 6689, Commander Roger Broussard. We saw Roger this morning place the wreath of honor at the memorial at the memorial here at Five Corners. Thank you. Happy Memorial Day. Congratulations, Poppy Princess. I always have had tons of those poppies on my rear view mirror supporting the VFW. And here we are joined by Combat Veterans Memorial Association and Governor Phil Scott. There he is on a bike. Hi. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today, Governor. The CVWA consists of former and current members of the U.S. military who have served in theaters of conflict. They share a love of riding motorcycles and helping veterans and their families in times of need. Their motto is Veterans Helping Veterans. Thanks, guys. Makes me want to ride today. <laughs> Coming up here is the Donald Cook Detachment Marine Corps League. They are proud to be a sponsor of the annual Toys for Kids program to make Christmas merry for Vermont children. Be sure to watch for their red barrels next Christmas. Great to see you. Thank you so much for coming out. Now we see the American Legion Post 91 from Colchester. The American Legion is a home away from home for active and retired veterans and their families. It's, an, its mission is to supply a comradeship, fellowship, and a purpose in the life of a veteran and the community in which they live. American Legion. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day weekend. <laughs> Up next, the Vietnam Veterans of America, Chapter 829, proud to represent all of American military personnel who are and have served to defend our freedoms. May God bless America.
And right now you're seeing a 1965 Vietnam era Jeep driven by Eric D. Kenoff. This Vietnam era Jeep is a 1965 M151A1, a quarter ton military unit tactical truck or MUD. The M151 series served U.S. troops up until the mid-1980s and was utilized by over 100 friendly countries, with some still in service today. Wow. Sons of Union, veterans of the Civil War Standard Camp, Major General George J. Standard Camp of the Sons of Union veterans of the Civil War proudly honor the men who saved the Union from 1861 to 1865. They're online at standardcamp.org or on Facebook at Standard Camp VT. And here is the Essex Junction Fire Department, providing fire and EMS support services for the city of Essex Junction and mutual aid support to our neighboring communities. And there's Chief Gaborio in the driver's seat. And all of our amazing, wonderful fire trucks. Thanks, guys and ladies. And of course, the ladder truck. <laughs> oh, look at the light on the front. Are you doing? Look at the light on the front of the truck. The next truck. Look at the light on the front. Thank you for your service, all the Essex Fire Department volunteers. Our fire department is entirely volunteer based. Thank you for keeping us safe. And here comes our next division, sponsored by the Essex Junction Lions Club. Since 1947, the Essex Junction Lions have assisted with eyeglass and hearing aid requests. Lions conduct vision screenings, and the five core service areas are diabetes, environment, hunger relief, pediatric cancer, and vision and they were instrumental in the creation of this beautiful Veterans Memorial here at Five Corners that's 10 years old this year. Essex Junction Recreation and Parks Preschool is a fully licensed five-star accredited preschool program serving children ages three to five. Located in the heart of Essex Junction at Park Street School, EJRP will enter, preschool will enter its 15th year this fall. Hey kids! Uh, Marcus, you're not supposed to get oh, the candy. I'm not. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so sweet to me. Thank you. Marcus is an EJRP kid at heart. <laughs> I got pixie sticks. <laughs> Approaching now is uh, Bob Bishop of Jericho with his 1990 Chevy truck. That's nice. security. Nice wheels. <laughs> and here's the Therapy Dogs of Vermont, dogs. a nonprofit organization of highly trained dogs and their volunteer handlers. They dogs. work with people in hospitals, schools, correctional facilities, and so much more. Great dogs can do great work in our community. <laughs> and here's the Essex Fire Department celebrating 50 years of service to the town of Essex this year. They would like to thank their residents for all of their support over the years. Hey, neighbor! <laughs> I've always loved the black and red fire trucks in the town of Essex. Yeah. They are some handsome fire trucks. Slick. Very, Very slick. cool. Again, another volunteer fire department. Without all these volunteers, we could guy. not be safe. Hey. Thank you so much. We are all super lucky to have such incredible fire departments in our community. What great trucks! Thanks, oh, Texas man. Fire Department. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah.
This next division is sponsored by the Champlain Valley Exposition. Vermont's premier special event center and also the starting base for our entire parade and our ending place for the parade. The Virgins Union High School Commodore Marching Band, proud to represent the towns of Ferrisburg, Virgins, Panton, Waltham, and Addison in supporting our country's service men and women. That is one sharp looking band right there. your full service children's hospital here when you need them. They give thanks to all the men and women that are or have served. Here comes the Blue Spruce Grange 574. Proud to be able to show respect and honor to our veterans, both past and present. The Grange is a fraternal organization with a long history of supporting farmers and the agri agricultural industry. at the Shriners Hospital. Today they are not dressed as clowns in respect for our veterans. And here comes representatives from Essex Rescue who's been proudly caring for our community since 1971. They're always looking to grow their EMS family. If you've ever wanted to be an EMT or give back to the community, check out their website to learn more about how to get involved. Thank you to the Essex Rescue. Thank you, Essex Rescue. Our next division is sponsored by A.W. Rich Funeral Home and Essex VFW Post 6689. We have the, Shron the Mount, Sh Mount Sinai Number no. 3 Motorcycle Unit performing in parades to raise money for the Shriners Children's Hospitals. The unit likes to thank all veterans for their service. No man stands so tall as when he stoops to help a child. Thank you, Shriners. Riding in formation, they're always a fun part of our parade every year. Thank you, Shriners. I don't know which one I'm supposed to like more, though, the, the motorcycles or the bear. <laughs>
Coming up is the Regal Gymnastics Academy. The athletes of Regal Gymnastics salute all the soldiers who have bravely fought and given their lives for our freedom. They thank you today and remember you always. Look at these amazing athletes. There's a lot of champions come out of Regal Gymnastics. Nice job. Yeah, not me. <laughs> no, you're not going to see that from me either. <laughs> but you look great. We should all be flipping like this on Memorial Day. It's a great day to do some flips and celebrate. That's awesome. Great job. Fabulous. It's great to see so many athletes coming from Regal Gymnastics and doing all this amazing work. Thanks everybody, great job, Regal Gymnastics. There's so many athletes, they have a bus for them. <laughs> the Burlington Elks Lodge is proud to be in this year's parade, the Elks Pledge. So long as there are veterans, the Order of Elks will never forget them. Today, Elks provide support to more than one million veterans each year across our country. Thank you, Elks. Really great to see so many communities come here, you know, the Burlington Elks, Virgins we've seen already. I saw a group from Brattleboro earlier today. It's going to be awesome. All over Vermont. And now we're joined by WPTZ-TV NBC5 News. The NBC5 Weather Lab is Vermont's only weather station on wheels, helping Tyler and team deliver the weather rates to certified most accurate forecast. Over this beautiful weekend, NBC5 News remembers all service members who've made the ultimate sacrifice. And there's a truck from Underhill Jericho Fire Department. Our neighbors, so great to have you here joining us today for our parade. Mutual aid is no joke. We can't protect each other without helping each other. So thank you, Jericho Underhill, for being part of our mutual aid system. Now we What's got more, that sound? We got more coming, but there's a little gap here in case people need a quick transition. We got a new division coming up, sponsored by SB Signs. How's your lollipop? Is that good? That was nice. Give you a lollipop. I'm hearing some conflicting noises, Marcus. I'm hearing some modern sounds and some really ancient sounds, and that's a really nice thing about the parade is oh, everything yeah. comes together. Oh, that's what I forgot. I forgot my kilt this year. <laughs> No, year. nobody wants it. Always that. next year. <laughs> nobody has to. <laughs> so, in case you're wondering how we keep track of the parade and as it's coming down the road, we get help from radio amateurs of Northern Vermont. The radio amateurs of Northern Vermont promote amateur radio in, their, in our area. 
Their members are providing key communications for the safe and efficient running of our parade. Contact them at ranv.org. And thanks for helping us make the parade happen. We can't do it without you. It wouldn't be a parade without little cars. Now coming down the way is the Catamount Pipe Band. It's going to be awesome. Oh, I love this part every year. Probably one of my favorites. Listen to that. The Catamount Pipe Band, an intergenerational organization dedicated to the preservation and enjoyment of Celtic music, tradition, and culture. They are Northern New England Vermont, Northern New England's premier pipe band and can be seen at events all across Vermont. Thank you, Catamount Pipe Band. We're now joined by the Cub Scout Pack 630. Essex Junction's own Pack 630 is excited to be marching in today's Memorial Day Parade. The Cub Scout motto is to do your best, and these kids work hard every day at being the best citizens and future leaders that they can be for our community. Go Cub Scouts! And right here is Thompson Towing. Thompson Towing LLC out of Milton, servicing the area and more. You can give them a call 24-7, 365 days a year for simple service, towing, and recovery needs. Thanks, Thompson, for supporting the parade. Great to see you. And here's Essex Chargers football. You know it's getting to be spring and summer when the lawn signs start popping up for sign up for Essex football. <laughs> We're going to see these kids on the field in high school and college real soon. I see candy being dispensed. Ooh. Thanks guys. And here's our Chittenden Sheriff's Office, Sergeant Brian Welch, Chittenden County Sheriff's Office, and Dan Gamlin, Sheriff. And now we're seeing the McFadden Academy of Irish Dance. The McFadden is honored to be a part of the Essex Memorial Day Parade. All gave some, some gave all, and they hope to give you the fun and energy and pride of their dance school. Thank you to all who have served our country. Oh, look at that. And that followed up right behind. Beautiful Volkswagen right right bus. Look at Love that. that. That's beautiful. The photo booth planet. Proud to be owned by descendants of officers in every major war since 1776, including the owner's father, who is a retired three-star army general. Throw a party for your guests, and they'll never forget Photo Booth Planet. <laughs> and now we're joined by Brownie Girl Scout Troop 61845, part of the Girl Scouts of the Green and White Mountains, Local Girl Scout Brownie Troop 61845 thanks all our servicemen and women who have helped and continue to safeguard our country. They also thank you for your support this past cookie season. The girls have been learning how to be future leaders. 
Good job, girls. Thanks for the cookies. <laughs> Now before us is the Essex Youth Hockey Association. Built a program that demonstrates a commitment to making hockey accessible for all. Season highlights include new uniforms, advanced skills, state championships for 12U, T4, co-ed, and 14U girls. Thank you, veterans. This division of floats is brought to us today by Maplehurst Florist, right behind Brownell Library over there. They've been in the city as a generation's owned business for going on 100 years, I think. It's been yeah. a long time. little pause in the action here, but I still hear drums coming. We've got plenty more to come. There we go, hockey player coming through, coming through. <laughs> All right, is everybody having fun? Woo! Yeah? Awesome. You having fun on? Everybody got candy? Yeah. Oh, I heard a couple of people, maybe not. But now there's this, more coming. There's a float contest on the in the parade. I don't know if you're aware of this, Marcus, no. but like they vote on the best floats after everything's over, and the best floats get a prize. But like here's one that is pretty darn impressive. I have to say, look at this float. Show them your tattoo on it. Show them your tattoo. This is Catamount, Catamount Realty Group, honored to be a part of the parade. And they'd like to thank all those who have made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. That is an impressive looking float. What a helicopter. And coming up is this beautiful truck. Oh, what a beauty. From the Forsyth family and friends, this 1950 Ward LaFrance originally was in service in Lambertville, New Jersey, where it served the Irish section of the community. It has been privately owned for over 30 years and has participated in many parades and private celebrations. Great to see you. Thank you so much for coming out. What a beautiful truck. A beautiful fire truck. It comes every year. You know my favorite float? Root beer. Root beer. <laughs> I saw that coming. <laughs> Dad jokes. All right. <laughs> this division coming up is sponsored by Vermont Systems and Don Hamlin Consulting Engineers. What you're starting to hear is the Hannaford's Fife and Drum Corps. Originating out of St. Albans, this corps is named after Captain Nathaniel Hannaford, a fifer and drum major in the War of 1812. Hannafords were established to keep the history of America alive through music. Another one of my favorite parts of the parade. today by the Vermont Civil War Hemlocks. The Civil War Hemlocks honor the soldiers of the Civil War. Leading the organization is the Honor Guard, and then two Civil War cannons and a Civil War traveling forge. Please give a welcome to the Vermont Civil War Hem Hemlocks.
Civil War hemlocks with some really great artillery from the Civil War era. Memorial Day Parade, always a wonderful time for history along with all the remembrances. Here comes the Essex Cub Scout Pack 635. They salute our country's servicemen and women. Cub Scouts serve our community during cleanup day, provide educational adventures for the community's youth. Check them out at pack635.org. Oh, here's a float I think we're going to like. Coca-Cola Northeast is coming and they've got soda. I was kind of thinking I needed a Coke right now. <laughs> Not messing around with the rigs. Wow, check this out. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Coca-Cola Northeast would like to order, honor all American veterans who gave their lives and sacrifice to our nation. Sprite Lemonade Legacy. Wow. Nice shiny red trucks. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you can park that truck at my house. <laughs> can we get a honk out of those trucks? There you go. <laughs> we got a freestyle machine. I'll take one. <laughs> And now that Coca-Cola is followed by a 1934 Ford owned by USN veteran Ken Arms of Essex. It's a nice looking tractor there. <laughs> and again, we have to thank our joining communities, wonderful communities that support each other from the Williston Fire Department, engine number three right here. Our oh. next division is sponsored by many friends and John Leo. All right, this next car might be a little goofy. I happen to know this group. Star 92.9, home of Mike and Mary in the morning, your favorite summer feel good music all day. Mike Zarni right there. Oh, look, there's Amanda Lee. Nice. Oh, Ken, great to see you. Thanks for coming out. What's up? <laughs> That's what we love about the parade. We always see our friends here. And now we're welcoming Miss Vermont 2023, Yamuna Turco, a sophomore at St. Michael's College. And Miss Vermont Team 2023, Ginger Raga Ishish, a resident of Manchester, Vermont, and a junior at Burn Burton Academy. Both young women won their new titles last month in Stowe. Welcome, Miss Vermont Scholarship Organization. And just catching up, Mary Sensi from Star 92.9. <laughs> I figured you'd have been at the front of the back here. <laughs> Great to see you, Mary. Welcome, Miss Vermont, both of you. <laughs> Following up, it's the LOL Jugglers. This juggling troupe from Wyndham Christian Academy in Wyndham, Maine. 
these seventh and eighth graders perform a vaudeville style show throughout the school year, which, cumul which culminates with a four day performing tour of the Burlington area each May. Now that is impressive. Nice job. All I can juggle is errands. <laughs> All right, now we're joined by the Vermont Ravens, Vermont's only semi-pro football team comprised of adults playing full contact football in the NEFL, a nonprofit organized in 2007. Home games are at South Burlington High School on Sunday afternoons. Please, for more information, visit vermontravens.com. Go Ravens! Here comes Spillane's Towing and Recovery. They've been a family-run business since the 1970s, helping people with all their motive, automotive needs. They're quick responders to stressful situations. We appreciate your help in our community. Thank you. Division is sponsored by the Essex Rotary Club. Rotarians do so much good work in our community. It's good to see you all here. The winter coat drive and the golf tournament and the hockey tournament. All right, everybody got their stuff for Aunt Dot's place. Matt loves in real estate and Essex Rotary. Thank the brave men and women who have made the ultimate sacrifice for their freedom. They remember the heroes who courageously gave their lives. And they thank you for today donating to Aunt Dots, who support food insecurity in our community and make a huge difference. Thank you so much. Thank you. Those were Marcus's groceries, but I just took credit for them. <laughs> thank you for collecting. Hey, there's Tim Gendron. Thanks for working on food security in our community. Now we're going to hear some wonderful music from Vermont Field Music Fife and Drum Corps. They were organized in 2016 and they have played many events throughout New England and New York. The uniforms are from the Civil War era and they welcome new members. For more information, visit their Facebook page, Vermont Field Music and Fife and Drum Corps. Dan Whiting, here comes Queen Anne, carried by King Fred. <laughs> and Vermont automobile, automobile enthusiasts. They're a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to teaching and preserving the history of automobiles. These are some wonderful old cars. Now folks, if you're shopping for books, the Brownell Library has informed us that they're now moving on to their buck -a bag book sale. You cannot get enough books for a buck. Bring, go, go, head on over, bring your stroller. If you have a backpack, fill your bag, fill your arm with a load of books, all for a dollar. And puzzles are free. So head on over and stock up now. We want to thank the Civil Air Patrol for being here today. The Civil Air Patrol's mission to support America's communities with emergency response, diverse aviation and ground services, youth development, and promotion of airspace and cyber power through aerospace, aerospace education. <laughs> Here
Here comes the people from 95 Triple X, our hometown hit station. Kwame Afternoons, love it. Great to see you, Kwame. Good to see you too, old friend. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day! <laughs> Now this division is sponsored by the Essex Agency and we're joined now by the Chittenden County Democrats. And let's see who we have here. All sorts of Democrats. There's Kate, Representative Kate Nugent, Representative Emily Krasno, Noah, <laughs> and Lieutenant Governor David Zuckerman. Thanks for joining us. We were hoping for carrots. <laughs> That's all right. Great to see you. <laughs> Secretary of State Sarah Copeland Hanses is here with us today. And Attorney General Charity Clark. Hey. Thanks to all of our elected officials Good. for Great coming out you. and celebrating Memorial Day with us. One of the best ways you can exercise the freedom that was won for you is by voting and being a part of your democracy. So thank you for standing up and running for office and for serving. Here comes Senator Irene Renner. She is honoring this occasion, commemorating all gave some, some gave all, our military, especially our Vermont fallen heroes, and families of our Vermont fallen will never be forgotten. stretch of our parade, but we still have a lot of great stuff to come. And don't forget about the chicken barbecue lunch right after the parade at the VF, at the American Legion. Yeah, if I leave early, it's just because I'm getting to the front of the line. <laughs> There's also going to be cotton candy and toys for sale by the fire department. The Brownell Library book sale is still happening. They're down to buck a bag. They don't have any bags left, but you can bring your backpack or your stroller, or whatever you have with you, all for a dollar. So current Dr. Pepper is a proud supporter and employer of our servicemen and women. They salute our troops today and every day. To learn more about Keurig Dr. Pepper and their opportunities in Essex and Williston, you can visit keurigdrpepper.com. <laughs> hey, look. Oh. Treasurer Mike Pichak is joining us. Another wonderful elected statewide official. Make it through the parade. There's a lot of hands to shake. And now we're joined by Chittenden County Republicans to join with fellow citizens to fa honor fallen soldiers and their families who made the ultimate sacrifice. They recognize the courage and reflect on the importance of freedom that fought, they fought so hard to preserve. Again, we're seeing more of those decorative floats. There'll be a contest. There's a contest on the floats. That's so. going to be another one. It's going to get a lot of votes. Yep. All right. Now we're joined by the Lawrence Family Farms. Proud to support our community with local grown meats. They are beyond thankful for the men and women who have served and serve our community. To give us the freedoms we share today, we come together to thank them. And now we're joined by Spare Time Entertainment and Family Fun Center in Colchester. They appreciate all of our men and women who have served our country, protecting our freedom. Come by any time to enjoy their new arcade, laser tag, escape rooms, 30 bowling lanes, restaurant, and bar. I like a little laser tag every once in a while. <laughs> Here comes that 1929 Ford Model A town sedan, driven by Gary Irish. That's a beauty.
Robert Donald is here, and he's a veteran of the U.S. Army, and he loves to create miniatures of life-size vehicles. You can check them out at his YouTube, Cartwheels of Cars, coming soon. And my former radio station, News Talk WVMT, AM 620, FM 96.3, with my former morning show co-host, Kurt Wright. Hey, Kurt. And right behind WVMT is the Reynolds Family Antique Farm Tractors. 1946 John Deere A, driven by Cindy Reynolds. 1939 Farmall F20, driven by Carl Dupont. 1944 Farmall H, driven by Mark Euchre. And a 1952 Ford AN, driven by Mickey Boyer. Those are some nice looking tractors right there. Now we're coming into our last division. Sponsored by Cornerstone Construction, Inc. and Aspen East Stables. Leading off is Cornerstone Construction, Aspen East Stables, our, uh, which has provided 30 years of quality building in Vermont. Aspen East Stables probably provides equine healing for veterans. And now we're joined by 101.3, The Wolf. The Wolf is your home for everything country. They are commercial free four hours a day, Monday through Friday from 10 to noon with Tara Madison. And from 4.30 to 6.30 for the commercial free drive home with Rick Logan. So there's Rick right there. And 13 or 12, I kick you. And our last division was sponsored by the New England Federal Credit Union. Essex Rotary Club. Coming up right here, Mark Barbecue, Josh's house. Mark Barbecue, a veteran-owned business who is rooted in the community and giving back with food and toy drives. Josh's house is a veteran charity allowing veterans a safe place to come and be with one another. There she is, Val Pilat. Look at, look at it, Val. This is Val of the Pilata Fund, <laughs> supporting veterans. And Mark Barbecue, some of the very best barbecue that can be found anywhere in Vermont. <laughs> See a lot of friends here. Love you. Thanks for your sponsorship of the Memorial Day Parade for all you do for veterans. Love these Jeeps, they look great. Great to see you. Thank you to Josh's house and the Jot Pilata Fund. And now we're looking at the Mount Sinai number three motor core. That's yeah. right, you saved the best for last. The motor core rides so that kids may walk. The Shriners tra hospitals treat children regardless of the family's ability to pay. Shriners hospitals are love to the rescue. I love these things. Now, do y'all drive up over the car? Does that still happen? Yeah, we get, we're gonna get to see the ramp go? Come on, I, let's I get the, the ramp, ramp go. Nice. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings our wonderful Memorial Day Parade to its conclusion. We're wrapping up the parade with the Shriners and the Essex Police Department. Listen, you'll see the police escort from Essex Police Department here at the end. Make sure you give them some more applause and some more cheers because of the uh, exceptional support on today's parade. And we'd like to thank all of the volunteers that made this parade possible. The Essex Junction Public Works Department, the Essex Fire Department, the Essex Junction Fire Department, Essex Police Department. 
This Parks and Rec. Place. Parks and Recreation. Every department, every personnel we have yep. around, both town and the city, really coming together to make this possible. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for your support. Thank you for coming out to this year's parade, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy this beautiful day. And thank you all veterans for serving. Don't forget to stop at the Brownell Library book sale. It's still going on. There's a chicken barbecue lunch at the American Legion. And thank you again for coming out and celebrating on this gorgeous Memorial Day.